what, you may ask, is so important about studying history? The answer is as simple as it is important. If you knew your culture's history was directly linked to great writers, powerful leaders, successful business people and pioneers, wouldn't that make you proud? Wouldn't that inspire you to do great things yourself? Those who endeavor to understand their own history are paving a path toward a bright future. Carter G. Woodson, the father of black history, knew that knowledge of the African-American experience would be the last way to destroy the chains of slavery. And so he made it his life's passion. In early 20th century America, it was popularly accepted that blacks in Africa had contributed nothing to world civilization that slavery actually benefited those Africans who had the good fortune to be caught up in the slave trades. It was damaging African Americans because they too were being exposed to these ideas and accepted them as truth and it had a damaging effect on their self-esteem and their belief in their, their themselves to be able to go on and educate and contribute to the world. Those kinds of distortions not only permeated the world of white Americans but sunk deeply into the souls of African Americans. If one was to believe these lies about his own people, then how could he achieve the confidence to break the mold? In 19 books and dozens of published articles, Carter G. Woodson worked to erase that false history and began to help all Americans of all cultures to understand the true history of the African people's experience in America and across the world. He believed that hard facts through research and fair-mindedness would bring balance to history. And that his thesis was that all peoples in the world uh, had made a contribution to civilization. And once that people on a mass scale understood this, there would be greater respect for all races, all ethnic groups, all religions. Before Carter Woodson began publishing his own writings and those of contemporary historians, there were few media outlets that would shed light on the full story of African and African-American achievements in the United States. He made sure Americans heard a different side of the story. In 1926, Woodson founded Negro History Week, which later evolved into Black History Month. To this day, the occasion continues to remind all Americans of the great accomplishments of writers, entrepreneurs, civil rights leaders, artists, and educators who helped create modern America. Woodson also founded what is now called the Study of African American Life and History, founded in 1915. This is the agency that decides on the theme for Black History Month each year. This legacy is still helping to inspire new generations of young people with true stories of outstanding achievements by Americans of African descent. No person can imagine where he's going unless he knows where he's been. The more I learn as I've continued to educate myself and to study about people like James Lafayette, like Anthony Johnson, like Maggie Walker, it's an absolute inspiration to me um, because not only that they look like me, but because here you have an individual with enough character, enough strength, enough skill that living in some very difficult times, they were able to use what they had, no excuses, no pity parties, but use what they had to advance their cause and take not only themselves, but other people to another level. Across our country today, African Americans have overcome terrible lies and stereotypes to achieve great success. Carter Woodson inspired each of these people to understand the success that has been achieved by pioneers of their culture and the contributions they have made and are now making to our nation.